Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name's Eclipse, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new and last sneak peek, or at least I think this is the last sneak peek, but in general, we're just going to talk about the brand new league system they're introducing, and then we're going to be opening up every single draft chest in the game. So in total, we're going to be opening over 5,600 cards. Now, as usual, the gameplay in the back is provided by Galadon. If you do not already subscribe, to him please feel free and do so because this video would not be possible without him now right now I'm just kind of showing you guys everything that's new and this right here is the highest league you can get to and that is ultimate champion and you have to be above 6400 like holy hell now right here I'm just kind of showing you guys each of the leagues and the arenas and stuff so maybe if you're in this trophy range you can see where you'll fall because personally I know I'm at 4k and I may actually start battling now because there's actually somewhat of an incentive for me now now real quickly if I sound a bit off I did just wake up from a nap not too long ago so if my voice cracks or if I sound slightly off that would be the reason for that now something interesting about these leagues is they're actually gonna be lasting one month long so right now seasons in Clash Royale are two weeks so they're increasing that to now 30 days or 31 days and what happens is whatever your highest trophy trophy count is by the end of the season that is what draft chest you will get so for example let's say you finish a season at 5400 trophies but by the end of it you drop all the way down to 5000 you will still get the chest for 5400 trophies so it's kind of like how good you did at your peak it's not so what you finish at and one thing which you can see in this chest is it shows you two cards and you pick whatever one you like better and I think it's just such an amazing concept so look it gives you an option like archers or spear gobs you pick what you want and you go on so I can't get over how awesome these chests are like it's actually really cool because I cannot tell you guys how many times I get cards I don't want from chests and even with legendaries right there the princess or sparky and one thing that Galadon did mention is he told me that it isn't a 100% chance that you get a legendary. However, I do believe that the percentage is really, really high. So again, bats or bomber, obviously bats are new, so you're going to go with those. And I apologize if the text is slightly cut off on the top of the screen I may put the same text like over that so if it looks a bit you know ghetto I'll try to fix it up it's just because my overlay doesn't mix with Galadon's but right here again expo or lightning spell I hate the expo so I would go with the lightning spell and again another set of legendaries from this chest like I'm pretty sure the legendary percentage is just super high now one thing which I probably should have mentioned is this entire video is just gonna be me showing you guys all of the chest so literally every single chest for each league and there's just so many cards literally over 5600 cards in just a few leagues I'm showing you so right now we're in masters one which is 4900 or above and these are like a lot of trophies I don't think I'll ever get this high I feel like these chests are more so for like the hardcore trophy pushers it's definitely gonna give these top players another reason to push and another thing I'm noticing from these chests is they don't offer too much gold However, they do have a pretty high legendary percentage, so I guess that does make up for it. And I haven't really watched this entire video, so I don't know all of the cards that are going to be unlocked. But right here, I'm a oh look at that heal spells. Damn right, I would take those over the hog rider. And just kind of continuing on, you can see look at he got a legendary, but there's still another card left in the chest. So that right, okay, I thought it was going to be two legendaries from one chest. I apologize for looking like an idiot there, but you guys still get the gist of things like. This is just such an amazing idea. Now, it does suck that you have to be super high in trophies to even unlock this, but do you really care? Like, this is more so for the top players. Supercell has to give stuff to the top players just so, you know, they want to stay playing the game and so they don't lose, you know, their loyal fan base. Just because you're low in trophies, don't think of this being unfair. Like, if you're at, like, Arena 8, for example, you still have to work on unlocking and upgrading all your cards. This right here is more so a 
for those top guys who have grinded their way to the top. It just kind of gives them an easier opportunity to upgrade their cards through the final levels. And I don't think I'm going to be getting a lot of these chests, so don't feel bad if you aren't. A lot of us are going to be like in the same boat because I don't play ladder that much. I normally just stick to challenges. I may start to trophy push now just because these are so cool. But yeah, for the most part, that's like everything I have to say. And we still have like five more minutes of chest openings to watch. And it's just going to be chill from here on out. I'm not too sure what I'll talk about. I may talk about my thoughts on this update or I may talk about each chest individually. Um, you know really not too sure what the direction of this video is gonna go because I thought this 10 minutes was gonna fly by a lot faster but apparently not because there are just so many cards we are going through and now if this is the last sneak peek of the update and for some reason I think it is I'm very excited for this like this update has been absolutely incredible the sneak peeks they've introduced they've all made me very happy so first off we got new cards introduced to us but the thing is we don't really know what a Arena, the new cards are unlocked in I'm not too sure if anyone picked up on that but according to me I'm not too sure when I do actually unlock the new cards they all look super awesome and I can't wait to try them all out and all of the other sneak peeks they've all been pretty cool and I feel like this update is more geared towards the higher end players so if you're just a casual person who's kind of low in trophies I'm not too sure how much this update is actually going to impact you I mean they've shown us some really cool stuff like two versus two battles like sure we all get to experience that and I feel like that's one of the most hyped things but then like I said earlier they're showing us these new cards these new leagues the new chests, and I'm not too sure how many people will actually get to benefit from these so next thing I want to talk about are the two versus two battles because those right there I am just so excited like there's so many collab opportunities with that maybe me and another youtuber just get in the same clan go in a Skype call and we can just battle and even if it's not for a video two versus two battles just sound extremely fun and as all of you are aware I don't have access to a dev build anymore but if I did I would be playing 2v2s on that probably right now just because they look so fun and interesting and it just looks like a completely way to change up the game and now I feel like I'm gonna suck at 2v2 battles I'm not sure if I'm the only one who feels like that but I feel like I'm just gonna get dominated every single time and now right here all the main chests are done and I'm gonna go over the bandit draft challenge one more time I did mention this in one of yesterday's videos but since we're on the topic of chest I'm just gonna go over that so at two wins in the bandit draft challenge you get a hundred gems after four wins 8,000 gold after six wins you get yourself a magical chest and that's why we're opening that right now so it's just the normal magical chest it's nothing too special so don't get your hopes up too high I believe the magical chest is gonna be for whatever arena you're currently in and now once this is opened up we're gonna get back to the rewards because this is still a pretty awesome tournament as well I completely forgot this was being added so this is another aspect I guess you guys can look forward to so then at nine wins you get some more gold and then at 12 wins you get yourself the new card the bandit and then you can also open up the 12 win tournament chest so overall I feel like this is a pretty good tournament I'm probably not gonna win it because I'm not that good but I'm certainly gonna try my best now once we have this taken care of we're actually gonna transition on over to the brand new team chest so the team chest is essentially the same thing as like the clan chest the only difference is that it only counts crowns from two versus two battles rather than any crown at all so once this um, tournament chest is out of the way we will get into that and this tournament chest just an average chest you have all seen this stuff before or at least I believe you have and now that this is taken care of let's head on over to the team chest and as I said it's pretty much identical to the crown chest so you'll see that any second it literally looks exactly the same and it should be up any second I swear I don't I don't know where it's at why are you hiding okay here it is but like I said literally the same thing as the clan chest the only difference is that it has a different name and you get crowns for it a different way so again nothing too special from this just your average clan chest but renamed to a team chest literally nothing special but somehow we pulled an ice wizard from that so I guess that's good as well and from here there's literally nothing else for me to say so guys if you enjoyed this video or found 
it interesting, please give it a like down below. Also, remember, big thanks to Galadon for making this video possible. Everything here would not be possible if he did not let me use his gameplay. So I'm super thankful for that. But guys, this has been Eclipse. Thank you all for watching this video. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting as of recently. And peace out.